Sarah in Wonderland. One afternoon, Dora was reading one of her favorite books, Alice in Wonderland, to Boots and Abuela's three kitties. It was about a girl named Alice who discovered a magical land. Suddenly, there was a knocking sound from inside Dora's mirror. The mirror began to sparkle. The kitties ran to it and magically jumped inside. Dora and Boots looked into the mirror and saw the kitties chasing a white rabbit. We've got to hurry. The queen is waiting, called the rabbit. Dora, we have to get the kitties back, cried Boots. If the kitties went through the mirror, maybe we can too, said Dora. Dora and Boots pressed against the mirror and tumbled through to the other side. Dora and Boots found themselves in a strange, colorful world. Their clothes had magically changed. Dora, you look like Alice in Wonderland, Boots said. Then he pointed to some rocks with legs. And look, those rocks are skipping. We must be in Wonderland, said Dora. In the distance, Dora and Boots saw the kitties chasing the rabbit. The rabbit was carrying a tray of tarts. I've got to drop off all these tarts for the queen's tea party, he exclaimed. He disappeared down a tiny rabbit hole. The kitties followed close behind. Dora and Boots were too big to fit through the rabbit hole. We need to find another way to get to the queen's tea party, said Dora. Let's ask Matt. To get to the queen's tea party, we need to sail to the giant trees, go past the tiny animals, and walk through the forgetful forest, said Map. Dora and Boots followed Map's path to a wide ocean. The giant trees were on the other side. We need a boat, said Dora. Hey, maybe that guy in the hat can help us, said Boots. It was the Mad Hatter. Do you have a boat that can take us to the giant trees? Boots asked the Mad Hatter. No, but I have a hat, the Hatter said. The Hatter took his hat off and threw it into the water. The hat grew to the size of a boat. Come on, amigos. Hop into my hat, said the Hatter. Dora and Boots climbed in, and they sailed to the giant trees. Dora and Boots thanked the Mad Hatter and went into the giant forest. Giant birds flew overhead. Giant chipmunks and squirrels ran across the forest floor. A giant frog croaked. How are we going to get past all these giant animals? asked Boots. You can swing on us, said the giant trees. They let down two vines. Put your hands up and reach, 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 said Dora. The two explorers reached high and grabbed the vines. They swung through the forest and past the giant animals. As they continued on their way, Dora and Boots met Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They look like a tiny Tico and a tiny Benny. Tweedledee and Tweedledum heard that Dora was going to the queen's tea party. You're gonna have to get past the tiny animals, but you've got to be careful because you're so big, warned Tweedledum. Soon, Dora and Boots met a group of tiny cows, chickens, and pigs. Dora and Boots had found the tiny animals, and they were blocking the path. How will we get past? asked Boots. We need to ask them politely to step aside. In Spanish, we say, con permiso, 
replied Dora. Con permiso, the two friends said to the tiny animals. The tiny animals danced off the path. Dora and Boots thanked the animals and went on their way. As they approached the forgetful forest, a large fluffy cat suddenly appeared. It was the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat gave Dora and Boots some advice. In the forgetful forest, you can forget all kinds of things. It's important to remember who you are, what you want, and where you're going. As they walked through the forgetful forest, Dora and Boots repeated who they were, what they wanted, and where they were going so they wouldn't forget. They had nearly made it through when they came to a door. I've got this, Boots told Dora. He turned to the door. She's Dora, and I'm Boots. We're looking for the kitties, and we're going to the Queen's tea party. The door swung open. Boots had done it. Dora and Boots went through the door and found the Queen's tea party. Their Wonderland friends were there, including the rabbits with the Queen's tarts and the kitties. Everyone wanted tarts, but the mean Queen did not want to share. Just then, the Knave of Hearts appeared. He looked just like Swiper. The sneaky fox wanted to steal the queen's tarts. The queen pointed to everyone else. Take their things, but leave my tarts alone. To protect her Wonderland friends, Dora held up her hand. Swiper, no swiping, she said. Oh man, said Swiper. Dora stopped the knave of hearts cried the rabbit. She protected us. She should be queen. The Mad Hatter pulled the crown from his hat. He put it on Dora. The crown turned Dora's dress into a sparkling gown. Queen Dora, la reina Dora, everyone cheered. Dora shook her head. I'm really honored, but I'm not a queen. I'm Dora and I need to bring Abuela's kitties back home. The queen looks sad. Everyone wants you as queen because you're so brave. I always have help, Dora told the queen. Today, the Cheshire Cat helped us. So did Tweedledum and Tweedledee. And we wouldn't have gotten anywhere without the Mad Hatter. How can I be a better queen? Asked the queen. Dora turned to the hatter. The queen wants to change. Can you help her? She's gonna need a new hat, said the hatter. Dora gave the queen her crown. When she put it on, her gown magically changed. I feel so much better, said the queen. I'm going to need your help, she told the rabbit. Bring your tarts, pass them out to everyone. After the party, Dora and Boots returned home with Abuela's kitties. We did it, said Boots. We made it to the Queen's tea party, and we got the kitties back. And we got the Queen to be nice and share. Dora poured Boots and the kitties some tea. What a wonderful adventure in Wonderland, she said.